We're here in the company of Thomas Leve holding, holding, keeping, I'm not going to steal it from you, a very nice golden significant trophy. Perhaps you'd like to explain, Thomas, what is that trophy you're holding and why are you holding it? That's the that's the Ryder Cup, you know. That's like, like a lot of you know, and uh, it's just uh, we just received it in Paris, and uh, it's just uh, probably the biggest honor that your the European Tour and the Ryder Cup committee could have given to France. And uh, it's just uh, we're really happy about having it in 2018 in Paris, and now we're gonna do our best to do a, a, a brilliant Ryder Cup. It's, it could we have a. We have a good, you know, golf course. We have a good city, and we have a lot of people behind it to make it successful. So now we have just to make it proud. Well, I think a Frenchman won the Open in 1907, and uh, I know you're not in your 20s anymore, Thomas. But I don't think you were around then, were you? So this, for you, has to be the biggest thing that's ever hit French golf. Yes, yes, by far. You know, it's just uh, any victories that any Frenchman had, you know, it doesn't match with that, you know, Ryder Cup being in Paris and. Uh, 2018 is seven years to go, and we have seven years to prepare it, seven years to work on it, and then uh, make, but make sure that we start from now and just start to uh, put the interest of the public on it right now. And it's just, uh, you know, that thing is so important to golf, and it's, let's hope it brings a lot of kids to the game and uh, and makes sponsors aware about the, the, the strength of the game in France and in Europe. And it's just, uh, it's a, you know, I mean, for French golf, that's the thing. Yeah, well, you've obviously played in, in a Ryder Cup, you've won a Ryder Cup, haven't you? So it must mean a lot to you, it must be very close to your own heart. Yes, of course. Once you played in a Ryder Cup, you understand a lot more what it is, how strong it is into a player's heart, a player's head, and uh, once you played in it, all you want to do is play in it again. And uh, i got a few years to, to go into my career, and let's hope I do it again. And uh, If not, I'll be, I'll be helping to you know, bring it back home as much as we can. Well, 2018, I mean, you're going to be... 32, 33 by then, so you're still young enough to play, aren't you? No, I'll be 21, I think. In, oh, I'm yeah, sorry, yeah, I'm sorry, that was rude of me. No, it will be a good age, I'll be 50 at that year, and uh, it's ah. just going to be a, let's hope, uh, 50 will be a good, uh, good 50, let's hope. Now, when you think of France and you think of French sports, you immediately think of, of football, and I know your, your sport is rugby, isn't it? You, you yes. do like uh, the rugby and maybe some winter sports. You don't, you don't necessarily think immediately of golf. Do you think this will make a, a big difference? Uh, just by seeing the reaction of the medias, you know, they, they realized, wow, golf has picked up something that no other sport can, they did. Football had it in 98, the World Cup, but the other sport uh, uh, organized a few world uh, championships, not, but nothing as big as the Ryder Cup. And uh, it's just, uh, we managed to, uh, to get that and the awareness of the French government. And uh, I think it's, uh, it's a key, key date for French golf. When you, when you have Ryder Cup plus the government that for the first time ever has been interested in golf, it makes it, you know, uh, just a big boom. And uh, it just, uh, it's going to be so massive for the kids that are like, you know, 15, 16 now. Because in 2018, there'll be a possible pick into the Ryder Cup. So it's just uh, for the game of golf in France, it's going to be a huge, huge boost. And I think what's different about this is that there, and part of the legacy is there's going to be something like 100 new municipal golf courses out there. And, yes. and also this is... This is not a sort of a sponsor-led Ryder Cup or a corporate Ryder Cup. It's, it's the Ryder Cup of the people, isn't it, in exactly, France? Exactly, exactly. Everyone is involved in France. Everyone uh, uh, contributed to it, uh, from the, the, the federation to the people playing golf. You know, they, they pay a little insurance every year that costs like 46 euros. And they agreed with 87% to raise it to 49 euros for the next 10 years. So it would pay for the Ryder Cup. And it's a little sacrifice. It's only 30 euros per person for 10 years. It's nothing. And it's just going to pay for the Ryder Cup, for, for the cost of it. And, uh, and uh, it's going to be just unbelievable to know that everyone playing golf in France is behind that. And uh, just the Federation did a good job on that. The, the, the teams of uh, Pascal Brizo, the, the director of the campaign, and, and the teams on VIMG that were you know, advising behind that did a great job. And I think it's just uh, a few sponsors came with behind us as well, but now the awareness is so big and, and the, the, the medias are so much behind that, that lots more people are coming into the bid and, uh, and, and it's not the bid anymore, into no. the, the, the Ryder Cup and it's just, uh, it's enormous what's happening now in France. Now I think there should be a French Ryder Cup captain in 2018, <laughs> uh, maybe something like 50 is about the good age to be a big captain, can you think of yeah. anyone who might be able to do that job? Yeah, we have uh, two, two ex Ryder Cup players, you know, with Sean and myself, and uh, yeah, it would be a great honor, you know, but uh, 
it's just uh, if I'm not captain, I, I, I'd like to help the team. That's for sure. That, that I'm more at ease on the golf course than I would be outside behind the ropes. That's You're still sure. going to be playing, my friend. Uh, let's hope I'll be playing. Yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, my goal is to last as long as I can on the European Tour. And uh, let's hope at 50, I'll, I'll have a few tricks to, to show the young kids. Yeah, well, let's not forget. Uh, you came second, didn't you, uh, in, in the Open? You've, you've won a lot of tournaments. You've, you've had a pretty good career so far. It's not over, is it? It's not over. I hope not. It's just, uh, you know, the tough part for a sportsman is to say, look, bye-bye uh, to everyone. And uh, none of us wants to do that. And uh, it's just very difficult. As long as I'll be competitive, I'll be on the tour and I'll be uh, trying my hardest to beat the young kids. And when you see guys like uh, Manasero, for example, or the French guys that are coming on tour, like uh, Romain Vatel, for example, is a good example. Victor de Bisson is another one. They're into their 20s, 20, 22s, and they are, they are just ready you know, for 2018 and to be part of the team. So that's what I wish to them. Are they? So the French are coming? Yeah, you know, don't forget the world champion as amateurs last year with a team of uh, of uh, four guys that are in their, you know, between 18 and 20. So it means that our the French golf is ready to to to, to blossom. Are you hoping that when the, uh, the the French, especially the kids, see the Ryder Cup, you know, instead of wanting to be the next, um, uh, I don't know, uh, the, the, the next French football star or the French rugby star or skiing star, they actually want to start playing golf? It happened already. It happened already by, you know, the media is being there a lot more. The, 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 the Canal Plus is filming golf now. You know, every tournament in the world is, is on French TV. Like, uh, like uh, Sky Sports in, the, in England is the same thing. We have the same thing in France. And it's, it shows the people that golf is present. Golf is here and golf is number one sport as an individual in the world. And in France, it's only number five or six. So the Ryder Cup will boost that to number, let's hope, number two or three. And, uh, if we manage that, it's a big, big success already. Now, I've just got some bad news for you, Thomas, OK? You're, you're holding that Ryder Cup, and I don't think anybody can take it out of your hands. Your grip is very strong. But you can't keep it till 2018. You do know that, don't you? I can, not worry. I've been an ex-player, and I can keep it. It's mine. <laughs> OK. Well, listen, many congratulations. No problem. I uh, look forward to seeing you playing yeah. in the next few Ryder Cups, let's then go. captaining Europe in France to Ryder Cup victory. Oh, that would be a dream. Okay, well done. Thanks.